A new art exhibit at Central Lakes College shows off work that the artist says is inspired by garbage. For this week's In Focus, Sarah Winkleman takes us to the exhibit made entirely of clay. Originally thinking that the earth was the center of the universe. The artist has his eyes towards the skies with his new exhibit titled The Sky is Falling. Things that burn, things that have the imagery of stars or space in general. That was his focus as art pieces started to come to life in his head. I spent a lot of time looking up at stars and making correlations between things like the nails on the wall when we moved or framework or, you know, seeing the, the fair game of shooting stars and thinking of the really easy correlation of the name between the actual shooting star. And even though it may seem hard to believe, every single piece in the exhibit is made of clay. You, you have to, you know, believe a little bit, you have to remind yourself all the time. What you are looking at is clay, but in the form of garbage. It's not the negative connotation, it's just it's simply what they are. Something that can be disposed of fairly easily. So the, you know, the paper targets, something that you keep for a short time, or matches that you use once and dispose of. Many of the pieces in the exhibit Kowalczak has been working on throughout his entire career. And during that time, the Illinois-based artist met the current CLC art instructor who wanted to bring his work to the area. Having him here and exposing his work and his process to, to our students and our community is it's really, really important to me, but also I think uh, the, the college as a whole. And even though there are many unique objects in the current exhibit, Kowalczak is always brainstorming new ideas, but keeps his focus on disposable objects. Different ways to present the same contextual objects and just kind of give it a different content. For this week's In Focus, in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. That exhibit will be on display and open to the public on Monday through Friday until March 9th. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.